Yeah. How y'all doing? Seems like a pretty strong start for the defensive front so far, especially the last two days in the past. What do you make of? You know, it's really early, but sort of where your group as a whole is at this point. Um, I don't think we like how we played the run game last year as a defense. So I know we've just been trying to be more stout up front and just uh, set a very physical and aggressive mindset. So we've just been trying to hold each other to that standard each and every day. Aaron, what kind of goals do you have for yourself and then your other head rushers? Uh, for me, myself, just to play 17 games this year. That's my main focus, just to be available for my teammates and just do whatever I can to help us win games. And uh, as far as my – did you uh, – what's the second question? Just all the, the group as a whole. As a defense or as my unit? Edge, edge uh, Just as an edge, I think just be disruptive. Uh, I think the outside linebackers play a very uh, pivotal role in this defense, so we, we just trying to be the leaders of the defense and make plays. Uh, every day we break it down on playmaker, so that's a, our mindset, and we very we believe in it. Sean mentioned that, too, that the outside linebackers play a big role in this defense. What is it about this defense that puts an emphasis on that? Uh, I think maybe just the way uh, Coach VJ uses us in the defense. Um, I think that's a question for the defensive coordinator. Uh, I just do my job. Well, speaking of, how nice is it to have the same defensive staff, you know, mostly but with VJ back? Mm -hmm. uh, it's nice. Uh, you know, the second year in the season is obviously better than the first, so I think we've been embracing it and just, uh, like I said, trying to make the corrections from last year and just be better. Sean was talking about there's some kind of like mental awareness that goes into batting count passes and knowing when you're not going to get to the quarterback. How do you, do you guys talk about that as a defensive line, as an outside rushing group in terms of techniques or how to work on that element? Yeah, uh, we do some of the drills in practice. We haven't kind of really started them yet, but those are some things you drill in practice. Obviously, you know, if it's a quick game, you're not going to get there. So, you know, just get your hands up. I think it's just more of a feel thing. Zach, in particular, seems really good at that. Are yeah. there certain things that you think he does well in that area? No, yeah, Zach is definitely good at that. And, uh, you know, I think that's something the interior is very good as a whole, just getting your hands up. Aaron, what's been your impression of Jonah Ellis now with a few months working working with him? Uh, you know, Jonah got a, a lot of natural skill. Uh, I think his upside is very high. But I mean, like any rookie, you know, there's a, a learning curve from playing, coming from college to the NFL. So I think he's just going to continue to develop and continue to get better. I mean, I'm happy with what I've seen. But uh, I mean, obviously, I know he has high expectations for himself and not only him, but our whole unit. So I'm just, like I said, excited to see him keep growing. What's the most challenging aspect of that learning curve for you for you when you came into the league? Or, or really, I guess, year two when you I think the biggest thing was switching from inside to outside. I mean, and inside, you're five yards off the ball, kind of, versus edge, you're right there with somebody in your face. So just kind of learning how to just that change up. And I think just learning how to, you know, get off the ball. You know, inside, you have time to read. Outside, you don't have that much time to read. You have to be kind of very decisive. So just getting reps of that, you know, that was the biggest thing to have me. And I think that will be something to help Jonas, too, just getting reps. The more reps he get, the better he'll get. Aaron, can you talk about your relationship with Jonathan Cooper and how you guys, uh, how your camaraderie kind of forms your relationship offline? Oh, yeah, that's, that's my dog. I mean, I played with him four years at Ohio State. So I think just, you know, being at a place uh, like Ohio State together and going through that hard training and then making it out on the other side, you know, I think we just able to hold each other to that standard and not uh, afraid to hurt one another's feelings if we don't hold, live up to that standard. And he know how to push my buttons. I know how to push his buttons. So, um, you know, I'm grateful to have him as a teammate. And it's very rare you get to play with somebody uh, from your college. How much uh, experimenting do you get to do this time of year, especially like with the defensive ends, just in terms of how you want to rush off each other, how you communicate, all of that? Uh, I think this is just the time you learn to rush uh, as a D-line. You know, this is a, a perfect time for us just to learn how to rush together. I mean, you know, we, we meet together. You know, you ask the guy who's to your side, you know, what you're thinking on this play and film. So you just kind of get a feel for it when that scenario pops up on the practice field or in the game. And just creating that dialogue is, I think, is the biggest thing. And uh, asking questions, so. Aaron, you've got a back-to-school drive on Sunday. Can you tell us a little more about it? Uh, yeah, uh, don't hold it against me if I can't say too much because I've been focused on training camp. Uh, so my publicist and uh, my agent's kind of been doing a lot of the leg work and my mom. But uh, yeah, we're just uh, we're going to have a big event out here uh, Sunday, I believe, up there in the parking lot. Uh, we're going to have a Kona ice machine, some jump houses. Uh, we're going to be donating backpacks, I think over 150 backpacks for the kids for the upcoming school year with uh, supplies and a bunch of different things. But uh, just trying to get the kids excited for going back to school and obviously helping out families who uh, might not be fortunate enough to buy their kids the supplies they need for school. So just trying to do what I can to help out the, uh, my community here in Denver.